I just think that this movie is so uniquely primed for the theater. We designed it completely to be a theatrical experience. Um, and mostly due to the sound experience that you can have. Clearly our movie is um, uh, reliant on sound, both from the creature standpoint and the human standpoint. And so we really, in this movie, tried to push the boundaries even more of what we did with sound and actually put you in the movie and make you feel like you were a part of this uh, terrifying experience. So I think we, uh, from a preparedness, we've been waiting for a year to come out, so we're, we're ready to be one of the first ones out. And I think from a movie making standpoint, we are a theatrical experience uh, all the way. And so I think this is one of those movies that you go to the theater to see. And so we're lucky to be one of the ones that, uh, that will bring you to the theater. The biggest difference between the first movie and the second movie is that the second movie is much bigger, not only from a production standpoint, it's a, it's a much bigger movie, it's a much scarier movie, it's a much uh, wider experience. You get to experience many more things because the family that you know from the first movie has to venture out into the real world. And so as the world gets bigger, so does our movie. But I think we also got to play with all the things that we really loved about the first one and hopefully the audience loved about the first one, um, like pushing barriers with sound, um, pushing barriers on new and more unique action sequences or, or uh, scare sequences. And, and it's also, we've um, gotten to open up the world a little more. We have a, a more diverse cast, a bigger cast, uh, a lot more stories being told. So we have that, um, that ace in the hole. At first, I actually had no intention of doing a sequel. In fact, the studio had asked whether or not I would do a second one. And I said, I, I don't think I'm your person. I think you should go find someone else. And the reason why was very simple. That first movie was so unbelievably personal to me. Um, as bizarre as it sounds looking at the poster, the first movie was a love letter to my kids. And that's the reason why I decided if I could ex explore that idea more, then I would love to do a sequel. And so what I mean by that is if the first movie is about um, the promises you make to your kids that you'll always be there, the second movie is about when that promise is inevitably broken, which I believe is what growing up is all about. So these kids who had such a stable ecosystem of support um, always now have to fend for themselves. And I think there's a real organic um, parallel to real life in that. And these kids are going out into a very unique world all alone, and yet they still um, manage to impress every single person with their courage, with their bravery, and with their belief systems of believing in other people when really they have no reason to believe in other people. They still believe in community. They still believe in the hopeful ending to this story. And so we go along with the ride with them. I think a lot of times sequels have to be bigger um, just by nature because if the first movie was a success, the second movie has to be bigger, which is not at all the way we went into it. We had to make it um, bigger only because the family left such an intimate space and went out into the world. And so when you go out into the world, what was really exciting in our specific uh, uh, movie is that when they go out into the world, they have no idea what's around the corner. So that is what we leaned into, that they have to walk through um, a forest to get to their, their next livable situation or they won't survive. Every single step of the way uh, could be the end of, of uh, life as they know it. And so I think that's the expansion that we went is an organic idea of how do you survive when you have nothing uh, left and how do you cope with such a, with being dealt such an emotional blow as, as losing the, you know, the father and, the, and also the, in, in a way, the protector of the whole family. In expanding the story, we got to play with new characters and have newer cast members. And there is, uh, it, was, it was so exciting because first off, all the cast members that we added were big fans of the first movie, which was such an honor to me, seeing as though the level of actors that we had, like Jimon and like Killian and um, Scoot McNary, who comes in for a small part in the movie, which was a killer. Um, we just had people who were ready to play in the sandbox. And we knew that the best thing we had from the first movie, we never knew it would be successful. We knew it would be unique. We knew that it was a different experience. And it's a, it's a sandbox that you want to play in. I think that most franchises have a hero and a villain and each movie you just create a new world around them, but it's, it's the same dynamics. And for us, it's the exact opposite. We have such a amazingly, um, a lush world of, of sound and terror and fear and all these things that you can put any character uh, you want in. And I think they have to live through this situation that, that, uh, that the family that you love from the first one has to live through. So getting to play with uh, 
uh, new characters, but certainly these actors, to have that level of, um, of uh, talent, like Killian and like Jaiman and like Scoot coming in, they were so immediately part of the family. They were so immediately collaborative. They were so immediately game for whatever I would put them through, whether it was running in bare feet or um, th throwing them into scary, deep, dark places, um, both literally and figuratively. And to have these actors come in and immediately be part of the vibe, immediately be part of the family experience, was so unbelievably lucky for us, but also um, really genuinely beneficial to the movie because we were able to do whatever we wanted because they felt like they were somehow a part of the first movie right from the beginning. I'm so excited to show this movie to everyone, but um, you know, selfishly from our standpoint, just because we've been, uh, you know, you make a movie, you want people to see it, so we've been waiting for a really long time to to show people. But from the outside perspective, looking in, it's just uh, I think a great experience and a great opportunity to escape. It's a world that I think can really take you out of your everyday life. Um, and and just take you to some place new where you get to experience great characters in a great world and be scared and have all these thrills and then uh, take a breather and, and go back to your life. And I think that it's 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 a it's something that only the theater can really um, offer to you. I think being in a dark room with strangers as many uh, times as you hear it, it, it really is true. There's something very communal about that experience. There's something very powerful about that experience, and certainly our movie was specifically designed for the theatrical experience. So for all those reasons, <clears throat> selfish and otherwise, I'm really uh, excited for people to see the movie. I am as stereotypical as it gets as far as the theater uh, experience. I have to have a popcorn and soda within 30 seconds of entering that building or, uh, or this, this, uh, this experience is not gonna go well. I, am, um, I, I genuinely feel that I go back to being a kid. There's something magical about that room when you go in to a dark room with strangers and watch something together. There's something connective that you can't really explain. And I think that for me, my movie experience is grabbing the popcorn, grabbing the soda, going in, and watching the trailers is still one of my favorite things. I think knowing um, that you are a part of this experience that certainly our business, we don't just make movies, we make movies because people want to see them. And so the trailer experience and getting excited for the movies that come around, I mean, one of my favorite things about what's going on right now is it makes our business a team sport. I don't think there's any movie that's supposed to come out this year that doesn't want every other movie to succeed. And that's really exciting. So we're so excited to be one of the first movies to come out, but we are by no means um, uh, anything but that. We hope to be one of the first steps that all these other movies get to come in behind and, and really um, bring everybody back to the theater and bring everybody back to the movies.